Hi, so this week I'm showing you how to install the Mario 64 PC port onto the Steam Deck. So all the links that you need will be in the description below. So we just need to go to this website and download the Steam Deck version, which I'm doing now. And then we're going to save it to the desktop mode whilst on the Steam Deck itself. So as you can see, we've got it saved in the corner, so we'll just drag it down. And then we can open up. So these are the files that we're going to need. Now we need to go back to the website and if you click on this section here it will take you down to the instructions so there's written instructions if you find them easy to follow than listening to me so there's a couple of links in here that we need to do you need to make sure that your mario 64 file is saved in this format if it's not there's an option to be able to change it you need to make sure it's the right one as well and you can test it here so you just need to click on this link find your mario kart file drag it in here it'll do a couple of tests and it'll give out this number and then when we go back to the website you can just double check that it's the same number as long as it is then that is the correct file to use obviously i can't do any links to any roms you should be able to put them yourself so we just need to extract this folder so we extract it to the desktop and then we open it all up and then we just need to click on this file that i click in here and this is going to ask you to find your rom so we just open all up and then you just click on as I'm doing, you click OK, keep clicking through and then that's pretty much it, we're done. The box should open in a minute, so there's the window and there's the game playing. So just for a quick reference, you cannot play the game in desktop mode. When you start trying to play it, the controls are absolutely awful and it's pretty much uncontrollable. So I'll just quickly show you what I mean. As you can see, me turning isn't available, or not as responsive as you'd expect. Most of the buttons aren't working either. So it took me a while to realise that desktop mode isn't really the option to be using it in. So what we need to do is to save it. So do what I'm doing on screen. So you want to add it to Steam. So that's now added the game. And now we need to find some box art for it to make it look nice. So again, the link for this is in the description. Also a full video on how you can do this if you want a little bit more detail. So all you need to do is search for the game that you want, as I'm doing here, and then we just need to download the different formats. So we want to download one which is landscape and one that's portrait. So you just want to save them as the names to your desktop is probably the easiest to do. So then it's easier for you to find when we want to upload them in a minute. Now we just need to open Steam and then we'll need to find our game. So we find there so it's a bit of a strange name so the first thing we're going to do is just go into the settings and then we can rename it so obviously you want to rename it mario Kart 64 or anything that you want and then you just want to right click and then we need to add the picture so you're looking for the landscape version so you might have to click on all files for it to show up but there we have it straight off and then what we need to do is to launch the game so we just press play so you can launch it and as soon as it launched you can exit out of that and then we scroll down and the same again. You need to click on the blank picture which is underneath, put another landscape on, and then scroll a bit further down. And then as you can see, there's a portrait version, so we just need to upload that. And then that's it, we're done. So now we're going to reboot it, go to the gaming mode, and straight away you can see it on there. So we'll just click through, click on play, and it's going to boot up straight away. I'm just going to quickly show you a little bit of gameplay and how nicely and how nice and smooth it plays. So I've personally never had a Nintendo 64, so I've never played pretty much any of these games before. So this is all new to me. So if you click escape on the on a keyboard, or you click the button on the top left, above the left analog stick, it will take you to the settings as well. And then within there, you'll be able to see what the keys are all linked to. So what button does what. You can make any adjustments that you want to but as you can see the gameplay is pretty much very smooth it runs nice and fast i've not noticed any slowdown especially when there's a few characters on so hopefully this video was informative hopefully it's been easy enough to follow and full credit goes to the modders that did the hard work and uploaded it I'm just showing you how to install it. All the links that you need should be in the description. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.